did purchase the vet. Horsepower hobby. Just got uh stop by officer there. I got the bandit, yeah. They got me out here in the 05 Cummins. <sighs> believe it or not, you wouldn't believe the reason why they pulled me over. It was just out, literally taking uh, trash to the dump from my home. <laughs> and police pulled me over. And he's actually stopping a couple of us there, as you can see. Stopped some other people in the background, but uh, stating that they got complaints about trash flying off of vehicles and stuff of that nature in the past and just wanting to uh, I guess pull us over just to kind of they're claiming to educate and maybe give us a warning about it all but not really sure but as you can see I'm going to show you right here it's your name on it your driver's license number information location camp road and your vehicle and indicated right down here other it's a warning 485320 South Carolina code section and the title the specific title is transportation of litter gotcha. covered and or secured tarp so forth and on laws on the books there and usually most of the stations they actually have a sign up that indicates these loads have to be tarped gotcha. like I say it's a warning just letting you understand what's going on we're checking loads coming in and trying to let, make sure that everybody understands what's going on with okay. it. Well, I do appreciate it, that. Is there any questions, sir? Uh, not at all. So just everything has to be secured. Yes, sir. Exactly. Okay. All right, sounds good. Thank you, sir. Absolutely. Have a good day. I appreciate it. So as you can see, very, very nice officer there. Uh, just educating me a little bit on the loads, if I'm going to be taking loads to the dump here locally, that they just need to be covered. Uh, <laughs> good thing I didn't pull down this road showing out in the truck. As you can see, somebody else has already been showing out on this street, which is more than likely the reason why they're on this street because somebody's been out here having a little bit of fun, but uh, just gonna take it a little easy and get this load off and get on back to the house. So as you can see, all I have is cardboard. We ordered some furniture over the weekend to put in our home and just had a bunch of cardboard and foam that we bagged up. And that's what was on the back of the pickup <laughs> when they pulled us over. So, gotta get all this off of here. And apparently, there's a guy here that's broke down. We're gonna pull him out. Give him a little help here. I'm gonna hook up to his pickup with a chain, or to his SUV rather, with a chain, and try to pull him out in a few seconds. So, there's a SUV back there that I gotta help out. If we can get back there to them. I don't know if you guys can see that white SUV there. I'm going to try to get in a position to pull him out here. So I'll get hooked up here in a second, guys, and get him pulled out. Be a little sketchy because he also has a trailer hooked up. Yeah, it's gonna be a little sketchy, guys. Yeah, it's working out pretty good. You can see he pulling his trailer and all that. Fire Cummins, pull it out with ease, y'all. Not even breaking a sweat. I don't even think we, we had a, what, about 900 on the RPMs. <laughs> it's kind of cruising. So yeah, don't take much effort at all. You can see it's still back there pulling it. need it I'm gonna try to get it disconnected here and get on with our ride okay so we're done with that got him off to a side as you can see 
way safe and out of the way. So we're gonna head on and looks like the yeah, police is still down there pulling people over. Yeah, they're just kind of targeting random people and pulling them to a side in these unmarked vehicles. So you never suspect it's the police when you turn down on that little side street there. But um, it's all good. <laughs> Like I said, they just gave us a little warning, nothing that we had to go to court or anything like that about, so. And they educated us a little bit. And I, I think they're really kind of pushing it a little bit too. I don't think that uh, that what I had going on was extreme enough for them to kind of stop me, but I, I guess they better err on the side of caution, right? So as you can see, it is another day. Got all kind of easy the other day with that officer. That could have easily have been a big ticket. He just gave me a warning, so. Good looking out to the officer and he was very, very nice. As you can see, I am inside my home here. I know you guys have also been waiting on awesome Corvette content. So stay tuned to the next video because I'm gonna give you guys just that. I'm gonna go out in the Corvette and have a little bit of fun. But if you haven't subscribed to the channel already, go ahead and hit that subscribe button, like button, and also push notification bell. And until next time.